Hey, hi. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it's wonderful to be back here with you today with continuation of our Dead Cells journey. Ah, there you are. I looked for you everywhere in this sordid prison. I found a way to reach my father's throne room for real this time. Your island house is a clock tower, just like my father's castle. We should be able to exploit this similarity and go back to my world to fight him. I'll see you in the clock room. Try not to die until then. You can only enter the Return to Castlevania DLC once per run. Okay, interesting. So folks, if you were with us last time, we delved a little bit deeper into the Castlevania DLC. Alright, giving us the crowned key again each time. Very interesting. And we had a really nice run overall. I gotta tell you, I really like the Panchaku. I am excited to see it. Perfect. So we had a run in with uh, death, and that was fun. Uh, I'd like to fight death again in the future. I think the second time around, it'll go a little bit more smoothly. It was close. I mean, thank goodness for the three flask uses, right? If you were there, you know. All right, we gotta get this bozo. There we go. I struggle with those shield guys every once in a while. They just kind of want to beat the hell out of me, and sometimes I, I let them a little bit too much. All right. So, not ready to leave the area just yet. We're gonna cruise on over to here. And I don't think we'll go into the Castlevania area today. I think, uh, oh, oh man. Wow, okay. So, we've got a summon very early on. We have had the leg hugger in the past, but last time I picked it up, we were in the tower. So this is really cool to get it this early on. That is very exciting. Now, the neat thing about the leg hugger is as soon as it gets enough kills, uh, it actually mutates into a larger leg hugger. I'm, I'm very excited to see it here. Okay. We're going to keep cruising along and seeing if we can find some stat boosts. Victims burn when they die. That's great. Okay, I think we're gonna hold off on those. I really like the Panchaku. Oh, beautiful. You know, I had this thing last time and uh, I guess it's gonna burn the ground around us too, but uh, you're literally crushing a flask on your head and taking damage. I um, I don't yet understand why that's a thing. Come on, get him. There we go. Old leg biter going to work. Nice. I like a nice kebab. Hey, we're almost in the grilling season. Speaking of kebabs. That's exciting. Wow. Panchaku makes short work. An extra jump in midair. Sure. Take that. Take the emerald key as well. Still don't know what those are used for. And 
don't really want that. So, let's come down here. Ah, perfect. Uh, we're gonna go with this. Okay. Oh, I okay, I I remember that from last time. That's gonna take us up to that other area which I kind of just wanted to go vanilla today. Uh, so let's head south and west here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, as I said, I'm looking forward to grilling season coming back more permanently, not just these tastes of nicer weather. A stack of bones. Some of these skulls look so badass. What is happening here? Oh, man. Okay. Bone. Hitting with the second attack enables a whirlwind attack that deals critical damage. I mean... That sounds cool. Let's see what it does. Oh, wow. Alright, you know what? I want to try it. I definitely want to try it. And let's find a warp here. I guess we can go further east. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to take us into the Castlevania content. I wonder if maybe we just want to go... Uh, let's go over a little bit more and see what's over here. I guess we stopped short of progressing further. Oh, that's neat. All right, so that's the whirlwind thing. And I am gonna take this. Yeah, let's change that out. Perfect. So, one of the things that I'm a huge fan of is a Monte Cristo. Ooh. Look at this. That's outstanding. All right, Greed Shield. No, not interested. Sinew Slicer. Oh man, plus 60% damage to a bleeding target, plus 80% damage to a poisoned target. Uh, plus 15% damage, fire spinning blades, inflicting bleeding. Take minus 25% damage when you are near it. Love that. Love that, let's do it. Uh, we'll melt this one down. So Monte Cristo. This is usually a deep-fried sandwich with turkey and ham and all kinds of cheese. It is just a beautiful thing. And so they pack all that together and they batter it and they deep-fry it. I want this. I want this Sith. It's got to happen. Scythe. Sorry. Forces the spirit of enemies you kill to help you. They explode on nearby targets, dealing critical damage in proportion to the reanimated target's maximum health. That sounds lovely. Okay, so this is also going to do plus 100% damage to a target covered in burning oil. Okay, yes. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm super excited about this. All right. Uh, I, oh yeah, we, we definitely want to upgrade it. <laughs> Victims burn when they die. All right, that's, uh, that's pretty great. I don't know that I want to reforge it, do I? Um, no, not yet, not yet. All right, we're gonna do the combo thing. I like that. 
and let's refill this. So this deep fried sandwich that I love called the Monte Cristo. And my wife the other night made these turkey burgers, right? I gotta tell you, she's great. Oh, look at how cool that is. Oh my God. <laughs> what a neat thing. All right, let's uh, take this dude out first here. Oh, wow. What a cool ability. That is so exciting. You're like, is he ever going to tell us about these damn sandwiches? I know. I know. I'll, I'll get back to the sandwiches. I'm, I'm just, I am so mesmerized by what's going on right now with these helpful spirits. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh my goodness. Almost got so excited I just jumped all the way down without taking the elevator. Let's not do that. Let's, let's not do that, goat. Alright, what do we got here? Just a shop guy? Yeah. Not really feeling it right now. You know, for good reason. I mean, I, I really like the stuff we have. So my wife busts out the cast iron and she's just going to town on these on these turkey burgers. Cooked them just perfectly. The the sear that she achieved on them. Just wonderful. Okay. So then she throws a gigantic slice of Havarti cheese on there. It is a godsend that I remember the name of this cheese because this is not something that we eat very often. And I, I honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm like patting myself on the back right now that I remembered the word Havarti. Uh, it's honestly, multiple people in my family would, would be very impressed right now that I've, I've remembered this word and conjured it up from nowhere. So she throws that on there. And then she tossed on this jelly uh, that I was talking about the other day, actually, and, and maybe you haven't heard about it yet because it's it's in a upcoming episode of the Boar Blasters series. Uh, it's, it's very possible you haven't heard about it yet, but we got these special jellies from a uh, place in, ooh, in uh, Bozeman, Montana, and uh, Bozeman, yeah, Bozeman, Montana. Um, and it's lovely. And uh, so she put a little bit of that on there. Man, oh man, just hitting every spike on the way down. Okay, let's, let's be a little, let's be a little careful here. What is down here? I hope it's something good. All right, so can't go after these guys right away. Oh, maybe we can't. No, oh, let's let's find the dummy. There it is. There we go. All right, come on, spirits. Oh my goodness, I, I love that. All right, it's a shop. We're gonna bypass the shop. We will warp back up here. I wonder if these spirits are gonna come with. Let's see. Oh, wow, look at that. They're not giving up. Still a threat. So then she put it on this uh, Hawaiian bun. I gotta tell you, it was just the most special burger. I'm already begging her to make it again sometime soon. I will go with the key. I, I don't know how many keys there are. Um, I'm trying to remember from Slay the Spire, uh, which I believe is what those keys are from. Okay, let's go with the 40% to health. I am gonna keep coming down here. I don't wanna miss out on something cool. My goodness, how is this thing legal? 
this weapon. This is incredible. Just wonder if we should come down here and... All right, nothing down there. We're gonna move on. That was a close call on that jump. I'll admit it. I will admit it. All right, is that a kebab? It is. You know, there used to be a restaurant chain called Bennigan's. If you know, you know. Some of you probably know. If you're like me, you miss it. One main reason, right? The Monte Cristo. And my goodness, they had a good one. This thing came out. Deep fried, gooey cheese inside. They're topping it with the powdered sugar. Give you a big, nice helping of raspberry jam to dip it in. Maybe you want a side of honey mustard with it. My goodness, what a time. What a time, seriously. All right, what do we wanna do here? We wanna go down there. So our buddy is not evolved yet, but I'm assuming, probably getting close to it. We're gonna go ahead and recycle that. Wow. All right, you know what, before we go over there, I just wanna double check this spot because we moved on kind of fast. All right. My office where I do the YouTubing and the working, you know, I brought that bag of coffee up here uh, so that I'd have it in front of me, the uh, one that I've mentioned a couple times. And again, maybe you haven't heard about this one yet because uh, it might be an upcoming four blasters episode, but I'm, I'm drinking a, a new coffee, this Nicaragua Las Hermanas. It's a uh, Pete's Coffee roast, actually, and this is a single origin uh, medium roast, and it's just lovely. Milk chocolate, nuttiness, some brown sugar. It's, it's very, very good. Morass of the Banished. Why not? Why not? Let's try it. This one is not sounding familiar to me. All right, we've got 30 cells and... You know, one of the issues we ran into last time was this problem with the weapon that we had where it doubled the amount of damage that we were gonna take and I, I still don't think there's a way to dump a weapon unless you have the backpack. So, you know, probably time to consider doing that. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna leave that where it is. I, I like it. Uh, we'll do that. Usually go with that one. It works pretty well. And Morass of the Banished. A low-lying part of the island where the leprous diseased and something. Achievement. The mud is getting warm, so you might as well swim. Reach the morass of the banished for the first time. Yeah, I thought it sounded new. All right. Well, hopefully it's not too dangerous out here, right? Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. What? Oh, we got a... We got a big thing now, okay. But 
that's... That's interesting. For whoever's gonna have to go up against that. So far, these guys hit pretty hard. Oh, hey! Finally got those guys. Commando outfit. All right. Uh... Wow. Can I hit these guys through the wall? No. That guy didn't even have a chance. Spiked shield. All right, cool. Oh, it's an elite. Oh boy. All right, that that went okay. Let's see what we got here. Um, you know, all things equal, I guess we'll put it in there. Poisons enemies that wound you. Damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. That sounds good. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Go ahead and poison me, folks. Uh, yeah, we'll probably pass on that, I think. Yep. I like what we got. I wish our guy would mutate. I don't think he has yet. Those guys look kind of Hollow Knight-ish to me. I know, I keep raving about it. I, I can't get over it. That speed boost really helped over there. Ooh. Love seeing those pop up randomly. Okay, where to, I guess? Over here? Yeah. All right, um. Oh, jeez. Make sure a few extra swings, right? I like this area. Okay, let's take a quick sip here. Hmm. You know. Especially if you're talking about that special coffee. I, I wish I could tell you I'm drinking something fancy, but uh, I'm really not. It's it's water. It's water. I know it's later in the day. I know. I, I, I didn't take the time to brew up the cacao. I know. I know. You know what? It is what it is. I wonder if we should take a quick sip. I think we're gonna. Take a sip here. Holy moly. 
Holy. Drop on that guy. Oh, wow. What are you doing the work for me? Okay, well, let's, uh... Yeah, I guess we'll just double back. Looked like six in one, half a dozen in the other, didn't it? This looks like it's gonna be maybe a path to... Oh, okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. You know what? I've done the cursed thing. It doesn't go well for me, usually. Uh, it's the whole, hey, you gotta kill a number of guys, and then, you know, but in the meantime, if you get hit, you're dead in one hit. It just doesn't really bode well for the goat at, at this point. Alright, interesting. What is going on in here? Cellar. A bulletin board note. A bulletin board, a note is tacked to it. Do not forget to clean the cellar on a regular basis. The meat will not last more than three or four days. After that, it begins to emit a foul order. Order. Odor. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, uh... Yeah, I, I could see that being a thing. What is this room for? What are we missing? Can I roll? Oh! Okay. It seems one of them made it out. The poor guy didn't get far. Oh! There were some leftovers. Oh no. Food infected with malaise restores 15% of your health, but it's infected with malaise. Yeah, no, we're not gonna do it. We are not gonna do it. Can I roll anywhere else? No, okay. I thought maybe if I rolled on my way down, that, that would make it okay. Um, so, I think we're gonna go over here. Can we get down? Oh no, it's, it's that thing. All right, so, can't get down over there. Uh, where else? I guess we can go down over here, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like we can't. Looks like another outfit and a stat boost. Love seeing that. Uh, we're gonna, man, plus 41%. That's really substantial. That's why I'm doing it. I know we don't have any greens, but, you know, that's a pretty decent health increase. All right. Holy moly. Okay, we got something. Oh, man. All right. That is outstanding. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to go brutality again. Big area. Wow, he got, like, canceled out of his attack. That was pretty cool. Oh, he mutated. We've got a daddy leg hugger now. Yes. Ooh, look at this. A new disciple. The altar. Vaguely religious, these symbols seem to evoke holy maternal figure and a strange exhortation to consume wine. Interesting. Welcome to our humble chapel, brother. Are you ready to make a sacrifice? No. Prove your devotion. 
Are you really faithful? Sacrifice will save you. Words are meaningless, only sacrifices are important. Okay, so... I... I'm not sure how to do a sacrifice, so we're gonna we're gonna move on to the nest. Which I'm not sure what the nest is nesting. Oh wow. Look at that health flask for. Um Yes. Amazing. Gosh, it's tempting, you know? Um Ah. Huh. No, I like it. I like it. Uh let's see. Plus 37% damage if you're close to a deployed skill. Yeah. I wonder if our pet counts as a deployed skill. I'm guessing no. I'm guessing it's more the uh, slicer dicer that we've got. Since time immemorial, religious rituals, etc., etc. Knee deep in mud, reach the nest for the first time. Oh, this is going to be an encounter, isn't it? Mama Tick. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Hey, Mama! Okay. Oh, I gotta... Whoa, what the... I jump up here? Alright, I am confused. I guess I'm just supposed to dodge these as best I can. Alright, we're, we're just gonna go to town here. I'm, I'm gonna commit. I'm committing. Got my eyes on you. You beat Mama Tick. Right. Sorry, not sorry, Mama Tick. Ooh, a scythe claw. Okay. All right. Uh, nope. Don't want that. We're going to melt that down. And Wolf Trap 6. Launches two traps at root enemies. Plus 175% damage to a frozen target. Yeah. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, that was great. Oh, yes, it's the blacksmith. Okay. I definitely want to keep putting points into that because uh, seeing legendary items pop up is going to be cool. And influencing the frequency is really cool as well. Okay, so I think what I'd like to do is go to the Stilt Village. Because then after this, we've got, uh, we've got the crazy tower again. Oh, hey. A Tori's Katana, cool. From uh, Kill Bill, right? I think. It's Ori Hanzo, if I'm not mistaken. All right, we're gonna come down here and let the beat drop. And it's almost like these guys get stunned a little bit when they get hit by this. And for the goat, that's that's amazing. For them, not so much. Oh my goodness.
All right, I'm not too worried about these. I mean, I I will replace that, but you know, I just don't use them that much. Especially with, you know, what I've got going now. I don't know why I didn't just warp back there. That's okay. Wow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is the best weapon I have encountered in the game so far. All right, this is wild how good this thing is. What do we got here? Downward smash decks cover the ground with inflammable oil. Damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. Um, I want to see something in just a moment. I want to look at our weapons. 100% damage to a target covered in burning oil. Okay. Got it. So we don't need this. But we do need this. And we're going to go... We're going to go Brutality again. Beautiful. Uh, don't... Well... Hmm, biters crawl from the dead. Here, boy. Um... Yeah, I... I suppose... I suppose. Okay. Oh, I'm glad we doubled back here, because this is the one with the key. Uh, we would have had to come back. All right, that guy got a, got a little bit of a drop on me there. We'll take care of that. We'll make things right again. All right, got the key. Let's keep moving. Is that you're officially the richest creature on the island. This absolutely perfect little jewel is worth 75,000. Fragment of the Philosopher's Stone. Wow. Holy smokes. That's cool. Alright. No village key. Well, you know what? I'm not too concerned. I mean, even the fact that, that these exploding birds are brought back as ghosts that help you as well, I mean, it's, it's incredible. Go survival again, just because... I suppose that's the key we needed to get into uh, that other door that we didn't have the key for. Alright, let's grab this. This looks like a legendary. Inflict critical hits when hitting bestial enemies for 15 seconds. Plus 75% damage for hits in the back. Colorless, the highest right, plus 80% damage to poison target, plus 30% damage to a slowed down target, spreads inflammable oil on the enemy. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just, I can't change out what I've got. Uh, it's, it's just too good. Can't do it. 
Okay. Let's take the kebab. And we will come down here. I think it was this one that had the lock on it, right? Let's see what it is now that we've got this key. Oh, forgotten sepulcher. Wait a second. I don't think we want to do that, do we? Okay, I like secrets. You know, we might be forced to go that way now because I used the key that I might need. Yeah, okay. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? So I don't know if there's another key to be found anywhere, but, uh, well, that's all right. I must have been feeling confident. Let's do it. Okay, what do we got? 30 cells. Uh, yeah, probably there. I don't think we need to reforge. We're good there. Let's see what we got. High-ranking dignitaries were embalmed in sarcophagi after a somewhat brutal, etc., etc. Oh boy. So this is the anomaly she's looking for. You've come a long way down beneath the surface, fallen one. Dark is the path you have chosen. The light of the guardian monoliths will guide you. But for how long? I don't know either. Behind you, that big light, just there. What is going on? Pay the tribute or turn back. I feel like we should do this. Night light lights up your path. Okay. Oh, geez. All right. That stinks. All right, so we're gonna need to pop this out. Otherwise, we're gonna take damage. Okay. Nope, we're not doing that. Oh, wow, that thing takes 90 seconds to cool down. Holy moly. Well, my life is not falling as far as I can tell right now. I just have to monitor that a little bit more closely. Oh, jeez. All right. Hold on. Uh, let's go brutality. Oh, goodness. All right. Take a sip. I'm just gonna try to find the exit as fast as I can, if I'm being totally honest. Ugh. Oh. 
Okay, need the crypt key. No. All right, we gotta get up here and take a drink. Oops, wrong button. That might be helpful though too. Goodness. Wow. Okay. Um, well, we need to take a drink. This was definitely not the path to take. I would have much rather ended up in the tower that I'm a little bit more used to, but it is what it is, right? I guess we have to go that way, folks. We have used our last flask. Uh, because, let's face it, it was, it was necessary. The raid I was getting beat up, and these guys below that can shoot at us. I'm gonna take whichever one gives us more health. So we'll go green on this one. Okay, now wait a second. Did we take a wrong turn at Albuquerque here? I guess we can go, ah, right, right, right. There's the crypt key. Okay. We know what that's for, and let's just make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay. Just waiting for them to be like, hey, he's got the crypt key, attack him! Stop that goat! All right, well, we, we've gotten this far, right? How about, uh, y'all got any of them exits? Maybe? Maybe? Secret zone, okay, tunnel? This tunnel was cleared out very roughly. Doesn't look too solid. Uh, tight passage. This hole in this wall is extremely small. Except maybe for a child. Huh. Canvas bag. A dusty old bag that someone left here a long time ago. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, nothing beats that dirty ass wall chicken, you know what I mean? Oh, gosh, get out of there. All right, let's get some health. Oh, we're gonna go plus 18. Okay, at least he can't hurt us anymore. I don't see a reason to go in there right away, at least. Oh, God, okay. Well, that's not wonderful. Now we're taking damage, because it's got dark over here. Oh, it's Body Slammer. Okay. All right, guy. Come on. Get us out of here. Where do we go from here? I am, I'm slightly perplexed 
as to what I'm supposed to do. Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? Oh. Okay. I can go further down over there. Oh my. Alright. Oh! I really didn't want to die. That was a great run. Man, oh man. I love that weapon. That scythe is so much fun. I can't wait to have another run with that thing again. Wow. You know, we had a great time out there today. I am enjoying the hell out of Dead Cells and all the weird and wonderful capabilities that you can stack on top of each other. And I'm learning along the way, you know. Now, if I think about the previous run where we got stuck with the bogus plus 100% damage. Now, hey, some folks out there are really good at this game. They're going to want that every time because, you know, it was made for them. It's not made for me. Uh, I'm going to go in and get messed up with something like that. So it's a, it's a tool of my own destruction. But, um, you know, I think if we get that backpack unlocked and we end up with an item we don't want, I, I think you can pitch it if you have the backpack. Is maybe my understanding. I don't know. I saw various opinions out there out on uh, the Reddits. Um, hey, let's do this again sometime. We'll... Uh, get together we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do out here on the goat force gaming channel every time and uh, we'll give away a video game at least once a week i really like doing those and uh, it's all of you and your support that enable us to do that uh, they're they're giveaways from us to us it's really neat so i hope you have uh, a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time out there. Take care. Be well.